Welcome to POST, uh, Show Studio's newish um, series uh, that will give you a five minute, five to six minutes uh, idea of what a panel of experts thought about a specific um, show. We just finished a panel discussing Comme des Garçons Homme Plus that took place last night in Paris and with a fantastic panel of experts we're going to tell you what Ray Kavakubo wanted us to think about was finding light within the darkness, finding light in the darkness. And so I'm asking my panel, did you find it? And what did you think about her latest show? I think finding light is quite a challenge when you're looking at a collection that's predominantly dark and where the attitude of the models is dark. But I think what I love about the idea of finding light is that it's participatory and it's an invitation to to be inquisitive about the show and to look. And once you start looking, you see reflection and you see fabrics that are reflective and shimmer. And there's a sense of light embedded in the work, I think. Just thinking about this theme of finding beauty in the darkness and, and there being darkness, no light without darkness. So this kind of sense that we can't have just, just the good without the bad. Um, uh, I think that, yeah, for me, what Ray did in this, with, with the show, not just with the clothes themselves, but with the whole um, presentation of the show, with uh, the sound um, and a kind of claustrophobic environment, perhaps even very hot environment, um, and the attitude of the, the models, um, they're, ex they're kind of sticking the finger up that they did at the end. She's kind of like using the language of fashion itself rather than kind of easy slogans or kind of more text-based, logo-based kind of stuff we've seen from other designers recently. She's, she's, she's doing, um, expressing a kind of optimism on a much deeper kind of intellectual level, but through the language of fashion um, specifically, which I liked a lot. So I think um, picking up on the word finding, um, as you were mentioning the Instagram, where it's all about swiping quickly and looking and getting an instant reaction, um, you're forced to kind of look, stop a moment, look a bit harder, look at the collection. She's kind of suggesting that's what you should do. And when you do look, there are lots of really beautiful pieces that you can see will translate very well, you know, for the, av maybe not the average person, but for normal people to wear. So I think overall, when you look harder, there are lots of very covetable pieces there. I'd like to think it was a political statement. I'd like to think it was about some way reflecting the sort of dark times that perhaps a lot of people feel they're having to live through at the moment of what's going on in um, Europe and in America uh, and in other parts of the world. Um, and I think it's a message of hope, um, and I take it that way, that it's a political message that actually this is just a part of a, a change. And if we keep on trying to be the you know, decent, democratic humans that we can be, um, there will be a better society. So and that's a big statement, um, but that's definitely my feeling. It's a political message. Thank you, panel. I uh, echo what you said, and I would like to add that it actually took me a few rewatch and in-depth an analysis of the actual collection to find the light, but I found it. And um, so I think, uh, you know, politically and stylistically, it's a very important message that we got from Ray Kavakubo last night um, in a sometimes a little bit dull uh, Paris Men's Fashion Week this season, apart from some exception. But anyway, so thank you very much. And please do not forget to tune in and watch the whole panel on Show Studio and on YouTube. Bye bye.